hello everyone welcome back to another informative video in this video i'm going to share with you a very important piece of information as it relates to growing food crops in an hydroponic system whether indoors or outdoors in my case i have my hydroponic system outdoors therefore it is exposed to rainfall the full spectrum of sunlight etc please also excuse any background noise from vehicles passing and I also want you to watch this video to the end it's not going to be a long video so that you could understand properly why this information applies and how it applies as you would have seen in previous videos I have always been using a pH EC combo meter to measure the pH and the EC of my nutrient solution now it is very important to monitor and measure pH and EC because the plants or whatever plants you are growing requires certain specific pH um, and EC or I can also say that the plants that you are growing grows best within certain pH range and uh, ppm. Now pH and EC will fluctuate, it's not a matter of if, they will fluctuate due to a number of reasons. However, I'm going to talk about one important reason why pH and EC of your nutrient reservoir of your hydroponic system will fluctuate and that reason is water and the quality of water that you had to the system. Now, I'm going to talk specifically about rainfall or rain water because my system is outdoors right and this is a perfect time because I just had some rain um, and as you can see right and the plastic also gathered some water so when the rain falls the buckets gather the water and it will return it to the nutrient reservoir and that addition of water will cause your EC and your pH to fluctuate. Now, say for example you had your pH at 5.8, the rainfall can cause your pH to, to decrease to for example 5.7, 5.6 there about. If you had your PPM at say 1200, the rainfall can cause your PPM to to reduce as well because it's diluting the, the nutrient solution now it is important to understand that after a rain event you need to come with your meter and check these parameters to ensure that they are at the right levels now if the if the pH is too low you need to basically bring it back up to the, the right range or the right levels and if the ppm is too low as well you need to bring that back up right so it is important to always have a PHEC meter to check these parameters well whether rain falls or not or whether the, whether you had water to the system or not you need to have a PHEC meter or an, a monitor basically that you could affix to a structure like maybe affix to this or affix to the wall and just put the probe in the tank and you'll you'll basically have constant monitoring so that you know every time you pass by the system you could just you know look at the monitor and you could know what is happening instead of always having to walk with a portable anel meter to measure all the time right it will take the hassle out of you taking it out and putting it putting in putting it into the reservoir and so on as i said with the monitor you could just look at it but as i as i said whenever you have a rainfall event if you are outdoors always come and check the pH and the EC of the nutrient solution when the rain stops so that you could calibrate or you could put back the pH and the EC where it's supposed to be because if you do not do that you find that you know you the plants will not um, have the desired growing um, environment that, that it requires and then you know you'll find that the plant is not growing well if you have it far extended have the ph and the ec 
um, out of range for extended period. So it's not just setting up the hydroponic system and and and, of, and and not monitoring the pH and EC. Of course, you know you come in the morning and you monitor, but it is important to always come and recondition or recalibrate the water after you've had a rainfall event because as I said you will have the buckets gathering the water and sending it back to the reservoir so that is the important piece of information and I hope you understand it and, and put that into practice thank you for tuning in and if you have any questions or comments put them in the comments area and please remember to subscribe to the channel again sorry about the background noise and I'll see you again in another video. Bye-bye.